Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So they've actually showed off the effect of the Amiibe or Amiibi, uh, new card that they've been hyping up. Plus the new Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon support card is finally here with its full effect. And then I guess we're getting like pigeons as an archetype, Phantom Knight pigeons. I don't know if it's gonna work with the Phantom Knight archetype, but anyways, let's go and kick it off with the first new card, Amabi. Now, just as a heads up, this will become a remote dual extravaganza promo. So this might be a really, really hard card to get depending on you know how many that they actually release um but anyways it says the promotional card is distributed in japan in campaign to counter a certain disease being introduced as a promo card for the upcoming june slash july remote dual extravaganza event so in order to get this card um what is it and how do we get one well let's first off check out the effect of it um, it says at the start of your main phase you can reveal this card in your hand each player gains 300 life points and it's zero attack zero defense fairy level three it looks like it's a, a water um, but anyways it says similar to the amori charms in japan they're used to promote good health and ward off sickness uh, amabi is a japanese spirit okay uh where did we get one okay here here's what we actually want to know while supplies last every time a duelist registers for any event other than the main event they will receive one copy of, of amabi in addition to any other uh commensurate commensurate Rising for that event. Okay, so this is taken from the US Canada FAQ. There's no info uh, on the site for other TCG regions. Okay, so it can be kind of difficult to get. I know that some Yu Gi Oh cards are like that where they just they release them in uh, NA, um, but like in like EU, they just never get the card for a very long time. Now, however, I don't really feel like this card is going to be something super OP. It might be a collector's card, um, but at the end of the day, what could you do with this? I mean, it's supposed to promote good health and ward off sickness. However, if you combine this with like a Mystic Mind deck and maybe like a reverse burn, um, you could technically reveal it every single time and do 900 burn damage if you have multiple of these cards, right? Um, it doesn't say you can only use the effect of it once, but yeah, you could keep on going with it. I don't know if there's any cards that can go back to the main phase. I know that they're skipping main phase ones, but let me know guys in the comments down below if there's any OP combos with this, but I just really don't know if you can keep on revealing uh, and going back to the main phase one or something. There might be some Yu-Gi-Oh card that's weird like that. But anyways, this is what I think most people are excited about is the new Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon card because they've been hyping this card up. This is, I believe, the last card that we're going to get that is like one of the boss monsters for um, the newer set over here. So anyways, uh, Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon is a level 10 win Dragon Synchro effect monster. Let's zoom it up on the card while wow, that's a little bit too zoomed in. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense points, and it is going to have the material requirements of one tuner synchro monster plus one non-tuner clear wing monster. And so it's once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect as a quick effect, you can make this card gain attack equal to the opponent's monster's original attack until the end of this turn. If you do, this card is unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects uh, this turn. The second part is once per turn when a spell slash trap card or effect is activated as a quick effect, you can negate the activation and if you do, destroy that card. The third effect is if the synchro summon card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, you can add one wind monster from your deck to your hand. I'd say overall, it's a pretty solid card. Unfortunately, it does require you to have a non-tuner clearing monster, which significantly lowers the viability of just splashing in a lot of different things. but. Nonetheless, it's like an okay-ish card. Uh, I just wish it was more a boss monster. I mean, yeah, it has the ability to negate and it is technically immune to potentially something that's a once per turn, but this part of the effect um, does not negate it. It just boosts it up. This, on the other hand, does uh, negate uh, and um, destroy. So it, it's still like an okay card for sure, but I don't know. I feel like for like a super boss monster that they hyped up, I feel like either the summoning condition could have been a little bit easier. This effect could have been more insane, uh, but still nonetheless, that it is indeed the card. Now I want to talk about these because like I, I saw that the, the neat name of like this over here with Phantom Pigeon Knights and I was like, okay, I got to see what the heck these are. Now just as a heads up, these are for Rush Duels, but we got the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel game uh, coming out very soon. If you guys haven't heard about it, I'm going to pin it down below because I uploaded it like super late last night. Uh, but nonetheless, Nonetheless, um, these are the, the, what the, the trap pigeons. Is that what they're called? Trap pigeons? <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, first off, what are these? Are so, so we're zoomed in. Um, this one's name is the Bomber. Um, 1300 attack, 1200 defense points, level four. It's a vanilla, so the effect doesn't really matter. Um, next up that we have the Bomb Heart Explodo. So these are exploding birds. This is kind of memes. Uh, anyways, it looks like it's got 800 attack, 1000 defense, level three. It looks like it's, are these all light? 
uh, light. Oh, this is a fire wing beast. They should have all been fire. And whatever. This one is a light. Uh, anyways, the requirement is you can activate by revealing two spell or trap cards in your hand. The effect is during this turn, if you attribute summon a monster wing beast type in attack position, you can use this face up ca uh, card as two tributes. That's pretty decent. Uh, next up, we have the um, Phantom Pigeon Knight vision. Phantom Pigeon Knight. Okay, here is the artwork on this guy over here. He's at level 7, 2200 attack, and 1500 defense points. And uh, the requirement is you can activate if there is a trap card or cards in your graveyard by sending the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Again, sooner attack times the number of trap cards in your graveyard until the end of the turn. If there are five or more trap cards in your graveyard, also inflict like a thousand damage to your opponent. That's actually not too bad concerning rush duels are kind of more faster, just being able to hit him for a decent amount of damage and gain a significant amount of uh, attack could be okay. Um, there's no limit to it, right? Yeah, it's just times the number. So you can get like rush duels again. Remember, you're drawing five every turn, so you can go through your cards relatively fast. And if you draw five, that's another 1,000 on top of the thousand. Uh, could be interesting for a burn because rush duels uh, can be quite fast too. I don't know if uh, if a burn deck that takes a while is going to be viable enough. But next up though, another newer trap card called the Heartbreak Look, which is a normal trap card. It says that as a requirement, you can activate this if you control a face-up monster, wing beast type, when your opponent normals or special summons a monster level five or higher face up. The effect is to choose one attack for this monster your opponent controls and change it to face up defense position. Monsters changed to uh, face up defense, uh, defense position by this effect also inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Okay, so it definitely is looking like a burn deck. This effect is actually pretty good. If you guys haven't seen that, some of the rush cards for like the, the trap stuff, there's not like torrential mirror forces. There's not really insane stuff at the moment. Just being able to move to defense, it does require five or higher, but nonetheless, it's like still like something you can actually use uh, relatively quick. Uh, next up though, we have the heart. Uh, foolery um over here and here is the artwork on this card so it's going to be another uh trap card that's a normal trap the requirement is you can activate if you control a face-up monster wing beast type when your opponent normal summons a monster choose one phantom pigeon knight vision in your graveyard and special summon face up to your side of the field then you gain 1500 life points okay this is looking like a very interesting effect considering it requires you to have a monster it's really easy um however it does require your opponent to normal summon monster there's not going to be a lot of normal monsters that's a pigeon knight vision right I just had to double check. Okay, so you get to not only bring this card back and still get burn damage. Now, this archetype is actually looking pretty good. I, I, I don't know if this would actually be considered like really good because again, the trap cards in Rush Rules are what I would consider a little bit mediocre, at least as of right now. Being able to basically uh, bring it back and gain 15 life points is pretty great stall. And then on top of that, that's at least guaranteed one trap card. And then if you have enough, I'd probably play three of those. This is not a legend card, right? I'd just max out on all of them just to summon this card as many times as possible. And uh, can you use the effect of it more than once per turn? Um, no, I, I believe not. This could actually be pretty big. Like if you're able to get out like double of these and do like 2000 burn, then if you have, you know, obviously if you have five, that's another thousand points of damage potentially on him. There's 3,200 attack. I don't know, I think it could be actually pretty decent in, in Rush Duels. Surprising the Phantom Pigeons. We'll watch them actually become like the meta. I haven't been keeping up with it, but if you guys do not do know what the meta is in Rush Duel, definitely let me know in the comment section below because I haven't honestly kept up with like what people are playing. In fact, sometimes it can be hard to get a game to play in Rush Duels just in general. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Guys, let me know what you think of some of these cards down below in the comment section below. But thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new or do want to keep up to date with the latest Yu-Gi-Oh cards, hit subscribe, turn that bell and definitely check out the video on the new Yu-Gi-Oh game coming out this year because it's going to be Rush Duels. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one and I'm out. Peace.